Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Red Dead Nights. Oh, okay. Go ahead then. In Prehistoric Kingdom Early Access. In the last episode, we made our beautiful double triceratops exhibit. Prepare for trouble! Make it double! Oh, so we have the horde is here, and then poor sis is down the waterfall over there. I really like both species. Well, I don't like the Prorsis skin that much, but both species look cool. Oh, I really love this face covering design. It kind of looks like a fancy chocolate that you might get on Valentine's Day if you're completely alone and sad. <laughs> yeah. Aww. And so this one is named Chomp. Good name. I appreciate all the names I get in the comments. You guys are very active participants in this, and I'm, I'm glad that you give me something to work with. I appreciate it. Oh, there's Pooh over there. This is Theo from Prehistoric Park. That's the first dinosaur that's introduced into the modern world. Well, first not even dinosaur, but you know what I mean. Theo. Tyler. I think Tyler was intended to go to a male. I don't know how this works. Is Tyler the male one and Taylor the female version of that name? Because if that's the case, I've seen like multiple exceptions to that, but I feel like something down in my heart tells me that is the general way that it's used. I don't know. So I just gave it to a female. <laughs> Lady Margaret. Not sure where this one is from. Or at least I forget if the commenter said where it's from. But still, cool name, cool name. And <laughs> he, wait, did I get Just all the think, Fortis? This species was completely eradicated yeah, in a mass Fortis. extinction that killed three uh, quarters uh, of the species on Earth. Uh, ah, uh, so what's going on? Okay, okay, going crazy. Um, Moto Moto, a very <laughs> satanic demon esque Moto Moto, but. Moto Moto, an obvious name. Like, <laughs> I know that I get a lot of creative names in the comments. I try to use a few of them, but then I have to go for the classic memes. I'm sorry. Just classic Moto Moto right there. Yoshi. Now, I forgot to check whether Yoshi was Fortis or Corsis. I'm pretty sure Yoshi's trike, having the largest horns of any Triceratops, would be Horridus. I, I feel like in my gut that's the thing, but uh, I just gave it to the Porces because I ran out of Hortus names. Uh, I ran out of Hortus 2 name, I should say. So, Yoshi. Scarlet, for obvious reasons. Not as pretty as Scarlet Johansson, but actually, you know what, Triceratops, you're much better looking than Scarlet Johansson. Yeah, she's getting old at this point. You can kind of tell in the later MCU movies that she's aging. <laughs> I'm such a jerk. And, of course, we have Sarah. There's no way we couldn't have a Sarah in there. So, for those of you who don't know, Sarah is the little Triceratops in the Land Before Time. The one who's pretty racist like her father. <laughs> I don't put this with the Argentinosaurus because three horns never play with long necks. Everyone knows that. Oh, Such cool dinosaurs. I can see why it's the favorite of many. Oh, and uh, the waterfall is complete. <laughs> I worked on that off camera. And I really like this Hell Creek vibe. The mixture of the wetlands, the coastal, the tropical. It does very much look like Saurian. The uh, Hell Creek Dinosaur Survival Game. With the cypress trees in here too. Oh man, it's a good mix. It's very good, very good. I can't stop staring at it. No. Oh. You can't get a waterfall that flows like straight down where you see the continuous water. Excuse me, game. Excuse me. Alright. <laughs> yes. So you can just put the splashy starts of the waterfall and your eyes kind of fill in the blanks from there. Alright, that that frame rate drop kind of scared me because the game has been crashing every now and then. 
It crashed twice while I was trying to work on this Edmontosaurus enclosure. So, <laughs> wow, what a great segue. I'm so smart. Yes, this is Edmontosaurus enclosure. And just these small viewing buildings, viewing areas to see the Triceratops is from. I didn't put too much effort into them. Because this is supposed to be more of a chill, relaxed build. Can you even see any Triceratops from here? I hear footsteps. No. Oh, there's one. Hello there. Who are you? Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Okay. <laughs> that was good. And I, I don't know, did something over here. Did a little mess around. I would have sworn that I changed this to Terrace form. Unless that didn't save because the game crashed and I had to go back to my auto saves. Wonderful, wonderful. So for the Admonosaurus exhibit, nothing too fancy, but we do have a moat over here. So kind of like what you'd get from say an elephant enclosure or a lion enclosure. You have a little moat that separates the guests from the animals. And some rowdy teens or a stupid kid can climb this and then go over into the moat. Okay, let me change this. <laughs> let me raise this here. At least two. Yeah, I don't need my monosaurus getting shot because some stupid kid fell into their exhibit. That should be okay. They can sneak around over this way. Oh, look at that. Okay. Pretty. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Here, can I? Can I? Can I change you to terrace? Oh man, the terrain is getting a little wonky. It doesn't really play nice with the pads, but we're used to that at this point. Here, that looks a lot better. Terrace mode. Didn't realize you just had to get rid of aligned fences and slopes. I thought you had to do fall terrain height. Okay, I, I, whatever. <laughs> Man. Alright. So let's get working on our Admonosaurus. Well, first let's grab the Admonosaurus. It needs the same thing as Triceratops, as T-Rex. So this is Admonosaurus or Gallus from the Horseshoe Cannon Formation. We already made that one. So this is a slightly earlier version that would have lived with say, a Birdosaurus, and, actually, yeah, yeah, Pachyrhinosaurus, and this is Edmonosaurus Anectens from the Hell Creek Formation, and this was the species that lived at the end of the Cretaceous, that famous duck-billed dinosaur you always see around living with T-Vex. It usually becomes cannon fodder for the T-Vex. Let's get eight of them. Oh, it's gonna cost me a fortune, but I have a fortune to spend, so who cares? Oh, I, I left it. I left it playing. And now the sun is setting. Great, 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 great. Yeah, usually when you see Edmontosaurus in something, it becomes cannon fodder for raptors or the T-Rex. Which is really sad because, well, A, it's a great dinosaur in its own right, and it's not only interesting when it's getting gnawed at by other dinosaurs. And B, because, I mean, this thing was massive. It was the largest animal to live uh, in the healthy formation. Why is this removing every tree, not just the coastal ones? You know, I'm not gonna complain, I'm just gonna do it. Yeah, <laughs> it was the largest animal to live in the healthy formation. With Tyrannosaurus, Triceratops, Dakota Raptor, that's a thing. Um, yeah, not sure if a Mar- um, Alamosaurus, sorry. Not sure if Alamosaurus lived that far north. Probably not. It's more like around Texas. I'm gonna make you a depth of 5.5, I should say. And another waterfall, because the waterfalls are cool. Actually, let me start this from here. So, uh. Right. Yeah, the terrain doesn't like the water. <laughs> Start that from here, because I wasn't sure if that was like completely flat. 
And here we can have our little waterfall area, because waterfalls just make everything so much cooler. And let's make that tiny and see if we can play nice. Oh, oh, it's getting mean, it's getting mean. <laughs> so, and Montasaurus, very, very underrated. Large specimens can be bigger than Tyrannosaurus. And I've even heard estimates of like up to 50 feet in length, or that would be like 15 meters. Get thrown around. Make it look like a natural meander here. Well, so Tyrannosaurus would typically uh, around 12 meters, but larger sizes, larger specimens get up to 13 meters ish. Okay, looks fine to me. And uh, let's get rid of the scrubland, because scrubland is for scrubs. Where are we at? Coastal? Tropical, there we go. Yeah. Oh, that's hot. That's hot. So guys, this is the last video you'll see of me without having seen Dominion. <laughs> I'm gonna go later today. I'm recording this as of the morning, well, morning for me, it's the start of the afternoon at like 1 p.m. Um, so, June 10th, opening day, not opening night, even though opening nights have pretty much just turned into opening days, because they consider like 4 o'clock at night, so, um, yeah. <laughs> I want to go see the Minion. Before I did that, I chose to re-watch the first two Jurassic World movies. And I made a post about it, but I think they each deserve their own video. Like, I'll do a re review kind of thing going on there. Alright, let's. Okay. Yeah, they're both interesting. <laughs> I don't like either of them. But for different reasons. Ah, they have some similarities in their badness. <laughs> but, uh... They both fail on different levels and it's interesting. But they also both have some high points. There are things that I did like about them. They both had some good scenes in there. I think the first Jurassic World only had like a few good scenes, if I'm being... Generous. Fallen Kingdom had a few more enjoyable moments thrown in there. And the setup was good. Like, well, decent at least. I didn't mind the setup at all. Uh, the first half hour or so were decent. Didn't give me any problems. Didn't bother me at all. But, uh, <laughs> right after that half hour mark, once we're on the island and we start interacting with the dinosaurs, then the movie just goes very downhill from there. <laughs> what do you want? Extra large shelter? Sure. Here we go. Let's make a few of these. Because there are quite a few Admonosauruses. But, yeah, so today I'm gonna finish this trilogy. See the minion. Look, I know the reviews aren't that good for it, but I'll give it a fair shake. You know, I've disagreed with critics before. Like, I I do really like The Lost World. I think it is a very good movie. Can you even see the difference? Let's raise that intensity a bit. Yeah, I think The Lost World is a very good movie. Teetering on great. I might say great. Can I say great? Okay, Optimistic Me is gonna say great. Um, Bioshock Infinite, everyone knows that. The critics are raving about it. Oh, it's so good. The best. One of the best games ever. Game of the year. Whatever. Yada, yada, yada. Sucked. Absolutely horrible. Um, <laughs> so, I am no stranger to disagreement. To say the least. Turning Red recently. Sucked. <laughs> But a lot of people liked it, and you know what? Good for them, but uh, 
So. <laughs> okay. Actually. Oh, yeah, I keep forgetting to do this. Yeah, we need the we need this water here. here. Okay, it's paused right now, so <laughs> you won't be able to see it now, but let's get let's get that meandering back in there. Meander, meander, meander. Um, that's a little much. That looks more natural. Here. There we go. Oh, oh, that's bad. Here, let's, let's fix that. Okay. <laughs> so, if I might like it. I might like it. Who knows? I haven't seen it yet. Now, there is kind of this contempt for critics within communities, like if the critics don't like a movie, it's always, you know, oh, it's the critics, don't listen to the critics, and yes, I've disagreed with mainstream opinions a lot of times before, but I don't think their opinions are just terrible and you should just instantly throw them out if you disagree with them. There is some merit to that. like. A viewpoint from someone who's not like a die-hard fan of your franchise. Um, they're just looking at it from an outside perspective. Okay, that looks good. And again, there's not even a single the critics. Critics disagree. Vastly disagree with each other. You'll find many differing opinions uh, online. Let's put some rocks in here first before I go full tree. And they're not like evil pe- Ah, some of them are evil people. The critics who like the cuties, that's- that's evil. That's pure evil right there. Um, to support such a movie as that. But, uh, <laughs> typically. They're not like evil people who just want to ruin your fun. For general audiences, they're just telling them which movies are worth their money, and which they should save money on. But yes, it, sometimes you do get idiots who just have no idea what they're talking about, and say stupid things, and don't understand what they're watching. <laughs> That's true too. So there's a mix. It's not a very straightforward thing. So as kind of someone who likes film criticism and the, ju the Jurassic, well, the Jurassic Park movies, I do like Camp Cretaceous also, I'm interested to see. By the way, for those of you who don't know, Bioshock, best game ever made, go play it. Bioshock 2, pretty good, solid sequel. Bioshock Infinite. Avoid it like the plague. <laughs> Avoid that like the plague. Unfortunately for the waterfall, you can't place it down while it's paused because you can't see where the waterfall is. It is an animation, so it only plays when the game is going, which it is currently not. Oh, oh. okay, tree in the middle of the rock, that's not very good, but... I think this is a good balance of tree. You want those coastal trees in. But then I also need room for the rainforest trees. Which are coming now. So, select all, get rid of these weird bendy ones, and we're set. Now it's art. Together nicely. There's some areas of trees I will clear out. There's more trees on this area here. Okay, now we need areas where the sight lines are blocked. So let's lower that size for a minute and yeah, let's block off this sight. And then the guests can have this one last view over here. And 
we can block off this site. Oh, oh my gosh, what's happening there? Alright, let's tree removal, select all. Get out of here. <laughs> so now you can't just like see from around the corner. You have to walk over and look here. Oh, that that is... That is beautiful. <laughs> Man. Okay, if I had it in Montasaurus Omni, I would just place it down here right now while the game is paused and get that picture. This is... This is eye candy. This is cinema. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, this game is beautiful. And you're stupid. <laughs> stupid trees, get rid of the stupid trees. Uh, no stupid trees over here. Let's get more plants in here, though. This probably won't even be enough for the Amonosaurus. Because these Hell Creek animals, they love, love plants. And I love them for it. You have to just go as crazy as you want. And again, thank you, Blue Meridian, for giving animals in the same time and place the same needs. You don't give them different needs. Like, Parkasaurus does that, and it, like, grinds my gears so badly. I think the T-Rex, like, Rasslin, the Triceratops, like, Jungle. The Stegosaurus likes jungle, but then Brachiosaurus likes grassland, something like that. Something silly. Okay, what are you at in terms of forest? Um, habitat. So you're at 71%, 34% water. How is that? Okay. That is right in the clear. So, actually, I lied. We. Oh, whoa, 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 you are out of line, sir. Out of line here. Guy. Better. Um, we still need to add, yes, all the reeds. Oh, reeds. Reeds are great. Here we go. They just make any exhibit look a thousand times better. <laughs> I will get high on reeds. Here we go. I kind of want it in the middle, because I think that's where the water would be the most calm, because the waterfall is over here. It's going to flow off into the moat over here. So yes, in the middle is fine. Let's just make it semi-realistic here. And reeds just going straight into the water. Like that. Oh. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. This is the life. Oh, yeah, this is the life. Oh, it's beautiful. And some trees, I mean, plants, well, trees are plants, but you know, plant plants. There we go. There we go, it's nice, nice and planty. Okay, I've gone on several tangents during this video. I, I don't even know which thoughts to continue and which ones to just completely discard. There, that's better. I'm liking it. Okay. I'm liking it. There's some tree clipping. They're just clipping through each other, but that's fine. Okay, let me just fast forward time for a bit. Get through the night so we can look at the beautiful Edmontosauruses. Yeah, they're loading up now. A lot of names. Eight names for you guys at home. Come on, Edmontosauruses. It's time. It's time to place them all down here. Oh, I forgot food. We need dung beetles. Oh my gosh, it's pitch black. Let's look at all the whiteness here. <laughs> Let's give YouTube something to look at. Yeah, so, today I'll write my review of Dominion. I'll probably record it tomorrow. First thing tomorrow, and then, um, yeah, I'll probably come out tomorrow evening. A solid review. Well, I don't know if it's going to be a good review, but I'll, I'll give an honest opinion. See, here's the thing. I don't get pressured into writing a certain opinion. I always just give the honest opinion, my thoughts on a movie. 
in the paleo community, you could be pressured to like, you have to love Jurassic World. If you don't love Jurassic World, you're not a real fan. You don't know what you're talking about. That sort of stuff. No, I'm, I'm not caving into peer pressure that I have to like these movies. You haven't read the book, you're not a true fan. I, I have read the books. People just assume that you haven't to make themselves look better. But, uh, yeah, I have read. Well, I read the first book. I haven't read The Lost World yet. Let me just pause that so time doesn't fly by. Okay, this is the exhibit here. So time doesn't fly by while I'm doing this. Okay, put the feeders towards the sight lines so that you can, you know them. Okay. And let's get those waterfalls in here. Yes, but I have read the Jurassic Park novel in high school. I'm gonna reread it sometime in the near future. But it really isn't as good as everyone says it is. I, I think it gets overrated, overhyped. Really? Can you please be the same size? Like people look at it as gospel. It's not the Bible, guys. It's, it's the Jurassic Park novel. And I, I think the movie is a lot better. The characters are more interesting. They're not just like, archetypes, I felt. Ian was a much more enjoyable character. He's just too preachy, too annoying the way he's written, I felt. He goes on and on for pages with his morals. In the movie, he's more charming, shorter to the point, more witty, more, more enjoyable overall. And same thing with John Hammond. John Hammond is just cut more of a money grabber. Found all over Western at least from what I remember. Again, I do have to give it a reread, but from what I remember, uh, not that in interesting of a character. He gets killed off. More of a villain. Um, but in the movie, he's much more likable. And he has... He feels more human. A lot more human. Mactula. That name is getting changed, but... Oh well, hi Mactula. This is Edmonosaurus Anectins. Hello there. Okay, well, you're just gonna be a jerk about it. Fine. These are high beats. You have to remember, this is like a 12 foot, 13 foot tall animal. How big are these beats? I suck. Sakurai? The maker of Smash Bros? Alright. I get you in good lighting. Oh, there's always poop somewhere. So, this is the wonderful Edmontosaurus. And Monosaurus Anectins has gone through a lot of name changes over its career. A lot of changes. Ooh, 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 is that a photo op? Oh, that's a photo op. Wait, wait, wait. Are oh, you gonna war? That's an even better Oh, that's an even better photo op. Uh, the reeds get in the way. As beautiful as they are, they just get in the way here. Are you in a better spot? It's not working out. Alright, I'll let something naturally happen. Thomas, how's it going? Aww. Yeah, so they have gone through a lot of name changes. Uh, like, they're called Trachodon, Anatosaurus, Anatotitan. Edmontosaurus Saskatchewanensis, I think I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, so many different name changes. I'm probably missing a few. Um, but they have settled. There are now just two species of Edmontosaurus. It's Edmontosaurus, well, that is the Alaskan one too. Alright, three species, but now we have Edmontosaurus regalis, and Edmontosaurus anectins, or Gallus from earlier rock. And track it on an Atosaurus and Titan. Just Edmontosaurus Anectins. 
Good. Now, leave it alone. Leave it alone. Aww. They are very beautiful Adrosaurs are commonly referred to as duck-billed dinosaurs. But don't let that catchy moniker fool you. These dinosaurs lived on land, not in water. Oh, yeah. Poor guys. Like, they had to live through that. Just constant portrayal as in a like a semi-aquatic swimmer that just ate water plants like a duck. Ugh. <laughs> Poor things. Uh, and while while they're getting gnawed on by Tyrannosaurus, of course. Let's just get two of these over here. Do these things really need power? I actually three. I honestly doubt that these acquire power. You just put the coins in and, and then you see through it. It's not hard. And look for the Amonosaurus. I kind of wanted them to be more, you know, right here, but it's not the world we live in. Um, poop. Poopoo -poo time from our Nasutoceratops, our first exhibit. Oh, it's been a long, long journey. Okay, let's find a good Amonosaurus to get a picture of. Y'all do. <laughs> it doesn't have to be anything super fancy. Here. There we go. It's not super fancy. Can we make it super fancy? Come on, we can't, We have to try. What does the morning look like? Light angle. See, I want it both ways. I want to see those beautiful sunbeams, but I also want the Admonosaurus to be in, you know, the light. Little thirds. Well, if thirds will always help, that might be it. Oh, yes, and while we're here... More waterfall. Here we go. Not sure where this water is coming from. Oh. Stop it. Okay. We're just gonna play pretend that this is natural and not just a crime against nature and physics. That looks somewhat nice. Can anyone give me a nice big roar in front of the waterfall? No, you're sleeping. Okay, give me. All right, stop it. I'm gonna make this happen. I'm gonna make it. <gasps> yes, yes. That's perfect. That's fine. I'll take it. I'll take it. Uh, change that light angle. To get you in the light. All right, there we go. All right, I think we're good for this episode. See, I want to do all of the rocking, the building, the fencing, the touch-ups beforehand, before the episode, so I wouldn't leave the episode like, okay, I'll do it in the next video, I'll do it in the next video. I did that the past two times and I felt bad about it. <laughs> so I got it all done, or all the hard work done beforehand, and just had the fun stuff to do with you guys. I hope you appreciated that. and. Well, I guess that brings us to our final exhibit, Tyrannosaurus, which will go here. Here? Oh, here. Let's bring the Tyrannosaurus over here. No. No, no, no. Here. It goes here. And that will be with the viewing dome from JPOG. I'll figure it out. I'll figure something out. And we might do a Dilophosaurus plus two other un exposed animals yet um, they will come in July I might add them to the zoo eh, the Lophosaurus where would it go? Lophosaurus can go here by the entrance oh, by this entrance 
Yeah. Okay, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Alright, but anyways, if you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like, subscribe, and check out my social media. See you next time.